Don't sneak up on me like that. It's bad enough with those creepy noises. What noises? Every once in a while, there's this unbearable scream coming from that hospital. We need to see what's going on. Let's move. Let me. Picking locks is kind of my thing. Voila. Silverfish got him. They're every scavenger's nightmare. Ooh, look, this poor guy is still holding a sound decoy. Sound decoy? You resistance guys just shoot at everything that moves, don't you? Silverfish are sensitive to noise, so before it pops up from the ground and starts chasing, you throw a sound decoy. It'll draw any nearby silverfish away. I guess you can take it. You won't be needing it anyway. Did you hear that? That's the sound I was talking about. I don't think you should go any further. And what about you? I have to go. That could be the resistance. I understand. I, uh, feel stupid asking you this, but Aaron wanted me to find some antibiotics for Mark. <sighs> I know I'm not making it easy on you, but if you're in there and you find some, she... We would really appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. And remember that your gun won't do you any good against Terminators. So when you see one, do what I do. Sneak past them. I'll be waiting for you at the hideout. Take care. Right now, you need to start answering some questions. There will be a time for that, but right now, you need to help the people inside. As for Colin, there was nothing I could have done. It was either him or you. And it couldn't have been you. Hello?
This is it. I wonder if I could control those turrets with the hacking device.
He's from the Resistance. The others have to be here too.
Private Jacob Rivers, Pacific Division. Pacific? What the hell happened up there? The whole division went silent. It was wiped out. I'm the only one who survived and I need to meet with Commander Baron. Alright, I'll make sure you get to do that. But first, get us out of here. Follow that staircase. It'll lead you to the main generator. Overload it and turn off the laser grid. Understood. And Rivers, destroying that generator will make a lot of noise. So in case we get separated, where are you stationed? Just south from here. Okay, we'll find you. Baron will want to meet you. Now go, and watch out for those medals.
Are you there? I'm on my way out. Good job. I can see the soldiers leaving. But don't think it's done. Skynet's sending reinforcements. Oh, thank God, you're finally here. How did it go? Did you find the soldiers? I did. I helped them escape from that hospital. You don't give up on your people, do you? I like that. So what now? They're supposed to come for me soon. Great. That means that you're going home? No more scavengers constantly nagging you to do things for them? I bet you like the sound of that. Oh, Erin's still up, too. Go talk to her. She won't admit it. But she was just as worried as I was. Do you need help with anything? <laughs> Is that your best pickup line? Sorry, that was a bad joke. I, I tend to do that when I'm stressed. I think I got it from my dad. Better that than his mustache, right? Oh, I'm sorry, don't mind me.
Seems you were very close. As close as could be. He taught me everything I know. Sometimes without me even knowing. This one time, when I was little, he wanted to make a huge sign that said, Welcome, on the side of our house in Pasadena. So he said, I bet you can't spell that. <laughs> and of course I had to prove him wrong. Believe me, now I know how stupid that was. Not at all. That was very clever. Yeah. He was always full of bright ideas. Thanks for trying to make me feel better. After Judgment Day, my dad turned our house into a safe haven. A home for everyone who lost theirs. We were like a family with an endless supply of uncles and aunts. I guess my father wanted to help with the war. We never really used guns. So the only thing we could do was to help others in need. Seems like he helped a lot of people. He did. Right till the very end. Anyway, it was actually really cool. Everybody loved him, and he loved having them around. I think it's because he always had a brand new audience to listen to his bad jokes. He had this really terrible one. He'd walk into the room and ask if anyone had seen his remote because his team was playing. <laughs> they always laughed at it. I'll never understand why. Was he a sports fan? I don't think so. He had a jersey that he wouldn't let anyone touch. But I don't think it was a token of his love of sports. More like a reminder of simpler times. Look at me yapping. I'm sorry, you probably have enough on your plate. Anyway, thanks. It's really nice to have someone to talk to. No need to worry. I'm fine. Who said I was worried? I've been thinking a lot about it. And if I can, I've decided to join the Resistance. I'll do more good there than here. I'm glad to hear that. I just hope you're better supplied over there than we are. Speaking of which, I see you've got those antibiotics I asked for. Good. Now I can call Ryan off. 
I asked him if he brought a shovel with him. If you think that was too morbid, he said that after Judgment Day, digging graves was one of the few things he actually got better at. Come upstairs, there's someone here to see you. Good luck out there. Private Rivers. Yes, sir. I've got a message from South Division's Field Commander Baron. She's agreed to meet with you. She set up a rendezvous point at the unfinished metro station. You'll need to enter the canal system under the bridge. The meeting's supposed to take place tomorrow, so I suggest moving out soon. Understood. And, Rivers, because of what you did for our guys at that hospital, I'll give you a heads up about Commander Baron. Don't expect a warm welcome. Looks like you're leaving us soon. Aaron wants to join me. What about you? What do you think about enlisting? Me? <laughs> no. I still have hope I'll get that bus running again. Also, I don't like the attention Skynet's given you guys. I'd rather stay as far from the line of fire as possible. Patrick, get back here! You better go see what's going on. Is everything all right? Patrick's decided that he wants to be a scavenger. And now he won't come out, even though I'm worried sick he'll get stuck. Get back here right now, Patrick! But there's lots of cool stuff in here. You told me it's our job to find stuff for the group. Uh, Patrick, what do you see? Maybe there's something valuable there. I think I see something. Wait, I'll go deeper. No! Get back here right now! Jeez, Jacob! Patrick! I'm alright. I'm alright. I've got something. Check out this book I found! Good job, Patrick. It's a military training manual. Thanks a lot, Rivers. What was that all about just now? I've got a meeting with Commander Baron. I'm leaving soon. Okay. I'm going with you. And don't even try to stop me. 
Are you sure? What's the matter? Don't they let you boys bring dates? Don't worry, kid. She's just worried about you. But she never lets me do anything. That's what older siblings do. They look out for us. Was your brother like that, too? Well, not really. Looks like we got here first. Is everything all right? You seem a little out of it. <sighs> Sorry. I probably shouldn't zone out like that with a gun in my hands, huh? Am I making you nervous? <laughs> no. Not really. Well, you should be. I don't have any formal training like you. I never even held a gun until... recently. Can I be honest with you? Sure. There's a reason I decided to come here with you. I want to meet Commander Baron myself. They're here. When I heard that Private Rivers of the non-existent Pacific Division wants, no, needs to have a meeting with me, I thought, oh, what a lucky girl I am. But then I started thinking, who is Private Rivers? And why should I treat him as anything other than the deserter he is? So right now I'm hoping you give me a good reason why I shouldn't just skip the court-martial and execute you where you stand. This is bullshit. And who do we have here? A brave scavenger? Rivers, do you always bring unauthorized civilians to fight your battles for you? We would have got to you sooner if you hadn't pulled out all your troops from Pasadena. People died there because of you! And what did you do about it? Did you pick up a gun and fight back? Or did you run like you sewer rats always do? Jennifer's right. There's no need for any of that. Yeah. Today is all about private rivers. So what can you tell me that I don't know already? A few weeks ago, the outpost I was stationed at was ambushed by a Terminator, I think. It was half man, half machine. The entire Pacific Division was wiped out by a single enemy. Half man, half machine? What are you talking about? How did your men let an enemy get that close to you? And we didn't know it was a machine. It could walk, talk, bleed, sweat. There was no way to distinguish it as an enemy. It infiltrated us perfectly. This infiltrator, is it still alive? I I'm not sure. Okay, for now keep everything to yourself. I don't want any rumors, especially since you only think you saw something. Skynet's coming. We're not done here yet, Rivers. Take this plasma. You're a resistance soldier. Time to act like one. To your positions! Drones! Up there! 
fire and 